It is very important to be able to identify the wolves in sheep's clothing. It's very important to know this, people. Why? So you won't be led astray. So you won't be taught lies. And miss out on the opportunity to become part of God's kingdom during Yeshua's second coming. Now, granted, everybody is not going to take part of that flight. But still, if God chose you, then you will have uh, allowed the Rokharkadash, which is the Holy Spirit, to be present in you to identify the fake from the real. Just because a, a, a lot of people on social media that's bold to teach and speak godly, that doesn't mean they are. Now, check it out. You have people that's calling themselves the chosen ones, right? Okay, check it out. Someone stated that they're not a saint. Because I did a video about to all saints, speaking of the holy days. Which is what I was supposed to have done. I'm talking to the saints. The spiritual ignorance is not going to uh, abide by the holy days. They, they don't have the secret knowledge of the holy days. But the saints have the secret knowledge of the holy days. So somebody who claimed to be a chosen one said that they're not a saint. See, this... It's the reason why I call them out. If you are the chosen one, then how come you're not a saint? I'm confused with the worldly meanings of so-called godly people. See? See? They say they're not saints. Then how are you chosen? See? When God chooses his to serve him, he puts his rule in them to move them to serve his purpose. Along throughout their journey, they then become saints. Receiving his spirit, you are now a saint. See? See what I'm saying? See, these people are calling themselves chosen ones, but they don't know the mystery of the Torah. They don't know the mystery of the Brick Hakkadash. They don't know the mystery of the Bible. They don't know what the gospel is. Because they're busy getting all their information from here, from that video, from that podcast, from this speaker, this teacher, this reverend. And they put it all together and it's all one big shenanigan. How are you a chosen one, but dare say at the same time you're not a saint? The chosen one are set apart. Set apart in Hebrew is Kodesh. Kodeshi. Kodeshi. Kodeshim. Kodeshi. Kodeshim. Kodeshim is set apart once. Kodeshi is set apart once. What is Kodeshi and Kodeshim in Hebrew? What is Kodesh? Because it's the same thing. Kodesh, Kodesh, Kodeshi, Kodeshim, same thing. What is that in Hebrew? It's holy. It means holy. Huh? When you are chosen by God, Yahuwah Elohim, you have become Holy, when you receive his spirit in you, you become holy. That's what set apart mean in Hebrew. Set apart in Hebrew means quotashi. Quotashi in Hebrew means set apart. Quotashim in Hebrew means set apart one. Set apart one, set apart means holy one. God has chosen his to become set apart from this wicked world to serve his world, which is the kingdom to come. 
So if you claim that you are, that's see, this is the reason why I keep asking people, what do you mean by the chosen one? See, but no, I'm always attacked. See, I'm, I'm, I'm attacked by the ignorant because those who have the truth will agree with me. Huh? They will be curious too on why people call themselves the chosen one. I'm curious, why are you calling yourself the chosen one? And see, this person say, I ain't no saint. Everybody ain't saints. See, don't even have no knowledge. You fix yourself to say that you are chosen one, that you the called out ones, but then at the same time say, I ain't no saint. Proudly, boldly, I ain't no saint. I know you're not. So why you keep calling yourself the chosen one? I'm still confused, even with that statement. So what do you mean by being chosen? See? What, okay, what I'm What do you mean by the chosen one? I'm asking one more time. What do you all mean by the chosen one? I don't know. But I do know for sure you're not chosen by God. You're not chosen by God if that's what you're saying. Because if you are chosen by God, then you will know that you have become a saint. See, people thinking about the word saint as saying that they're perfect. No, no one is perfect. That's what you should have said. No, we're not perfect. But becoming a saint, being a saint is working towards being perfect. We're working to become perfect. We're not called and still doing the shenanigan old lifestyle that we used to do. Comfortably, consciously, we're not doing that. When we become set apart, we are working towards righteousness now. We're living on a different path now. Cussing. Game banging. Hanging out. Clubbing. Getting drunk. Sexual immorality, hanging out with the with stupid people like we used to hang out with, gossiping, meddling, fornicating, gambling, smoking, humbugging. Huh? We're not doing none of that anymore as called out ones, as the chosen ones, as set apart ones, as the holy ones, as saints. All of that is in one. That's the reason why he is harder on us now as being judged. Well, we're being judged before his second coming. See, this is the reason why I keep saying the same thing over and over because I know people are not getting it. They're not getting it for the most part because Yahuwah has purposely cut off people's perception. But yet he said keep teaching because it's a fool out there who he is willing to call. But for those who claim their call that's living in ignorance, I'm here to let you all know you're not going to be part of the first resurrection. I'm going to tell you that right now. You're not going to be part of the first resurrection if you don't bow down and repent and ask God for his wisdom, knowledge, understanding, and be patient with perseverance. Patiently waiting on God's decision to do what he wants to do with you in your life according to his plan. So that's the problem. We don't want to wait on God. We want to make our own decisions. We want to make a shout out on what we want to call ourselves. I don't care how pretty your videos are, how professional it may be, how YouTube is paying, you got your plaques in the back. That does not make you official. <laughs> it doesn't mean that you're official with God's decision. Let me tell you, that does not mean that you are official, the chosen one. <laughs> know it.